Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Splash. It's 8.32 a.m. There goes Simba. Simba just walked out of Boo's room. And there's Boo. Boo is on the cat tower in the living room. How are you, Boo? Boo loves his arch. Look at this. Stella was in Boo's room also. Stella was looking out of the window. Looks like it's been raining. I took out the brush because Stella was laying on the bed and I thought maybe I could brush her. So I was brushing her for a while and Simba was on the cat tower and I was brushing him on top of the cat tower and he was loving it. So then he jumped down onto the bed and I've been brushing him for a while and every time I try to stop brushing him, he goes and rubs up against the brush. Like he's like, keep brushing me, keep brushing me. I am on, this is like the fourth brush full of fur that I've been getting off of him. He's loaded. Like this is what he wants me to do. This is his thing. He wants me to brush his head. He likes it when I go this way with the brush. He also likes it when I go this way. But this is his favorite thing. He's turning into very much like Boo with the brush. Actually right now I think Simba is more addicted to this brush than Boo is. Because Boo likes his arches, but Simba loves this brush. Yeah, he's like, brush my head, brush my head. But I have to empty this. This is so full. One more brushing, Simba. <laughs> See? He kind of puts his head into the brush. He directs me where he wants to be brushed. Simba was watching me get dressed, and then he was kind of attacking my clothes, and uh, so I put his cape on. I said, Simba, you want to wear some clothes? You could wear your cape. Okay, don't touch your cape, Simba. Simba jumped off the bed and ran down the hallway with his cape, and Boo was in the living room, and Boo saw it, and Boo got very upset with that. I don't know something it had something to do with Simba wearing his cape so then Boo um, chased him into the hallway and the two of them were kind of just standing in the hallway like staring at each other and then Simba started like growling at Boo and then Simba ran downstairs all of this in his cape so I said I better take that cape off of him so I took the cape off of Simba downstairs and um, everything's fine but like, it was weird. It was like Boo did not recognize him because he was wearing a cape. Or Boo did not like the fact that Simba was wearing a cape because Boo says he's the only cat that should be wearing a cape. The uh, cat charmer part of the toy um, got caught around Boo's tail like, um, like it was kind of draped over his back. And he ran down the hall with it and it freaked him out. And because he was freaked out, the other cats got freaked out. <laughs> And I think, I think Simba is under Boo's bed right now. I don't even know where Splash went. He flew. I have just put all of the cat food on one big platter. These are eight of the Primal Raw Nuggets. Each cat gets two of these nuggets. And I've even put Boo serving on here. So Boo needs to eat on this platter with all the other cats. Okay, I had to do a little Boo bribing with some crunchies. And he decided he wanted to eat on this side instead of the other side. Go ahead, Boo. Eat your food. You can eat it. Oh, he's smelling. He's smelling Stella's butt. Eat your food, Boo. Go ahead. It's for you. I moved it over here. This way there's plenty of room. Three cats could eat on the bottom and Boo could eat from his step. He just needs to, like, bend down.
I, I even gave him the side with the crunchies. Go ahead, Boo. Eat your food, Boo. Eat your food, Boo. And by him being a step above them, you know, he should feel more secure. Okay, he came down, but once again I had to bribe him with some crunchies. They're really making a mess of this because they keep pulling the food off of the platter and onto the floor. Because I really didn't squash the pieces down good enough. I noticed that they do that um, when I leave the pieces more in a whole state. But look at this. Look, this is great. Look, they're all four eating together very peacefully. It really feels like they've come to some kind of agreement or understanding again with regards to you know, eating together and just being nicer to each other. It happened sometime during the past week, in the past 10 days. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe by me spending more days away, you know, just like one or two days away, 24 to 48 hours away, it helps them to get along better. As weird as that may sound, even though they're separated when I'm away. There's just a gate up between the two levels of the house. I just moved the platter over. Stella could finish if she wants to. I have to watch how much Boo eats. If he eats half of that, then he's done. Okay, so Boo ate his full serving and now he's like eating food that really he should not be eating because he's gonna get sick if he keeps eating. He can't just overeat right now. Come on, Boo, we're gonna go upstairs, okay? He would finish everything on that platter, but yeah, it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna take him upstairs. There's Hijax. He's laying by the house. There's like a strip that stays dry from the overhang. I'm just about to give him half a can of food. There he goes. He went to eat his food. Simba just finished off the rest of the food that was on the platter downstairs. I mean, there's still a little bit of food on it, but he ate most of it. It is 2.41 p.m. I just walked into my room and this is Stella and Simba. Simba's sleeping on Stella's butt. How you doing, Stella? You hear the birds? You hear the birds outside? Hello, Simba. Okay, we have a few boxes here, so let's open some mail. Okay, this is the first box. What do we have here? We have some holistic natural feline treats, the bench and field treats that the cats love. We have two bottles of these. That is awesome. And we have a 
round cylindrical box that says Swarovski. This is from Craig Danielson. That's the name that was on the box. And uh, let's open this. What do we have here, Simba? Oh, that was a big yawn. Simba was sleeping on, on the bed with Stella. And Splash is on the cat tower and Boo is behind me. Simba, what do we have? Oh, look. Isn't that nice? I'll leave it here on the foam so it's easier to see. Can you guys see that? It's a crystal squirrel. Look how pretty that is. That's really nice. Thank you so much, Craig. That's gorgeous. Thank you so much, Craig. That was very nice of you. Hey, Boo. We're opening mail. We're opening mail, Boo. Did you like the squirrel? I have Boo and Simba here. They both want to help open the packages. Here's the next package. We're going to open it, Boo. Boo, we're going to open this. Come on. Let's go. What's here, Simba? Simba, what do we have here, Simba? Got a whole bunch of stuff here. What is this? We have an envelope inside of a box. Ooh, check this out. This is a Smart Skin Premium Keyboard Skin. And this Premium Keyboard Skin has all kinds of Final Cut Pro shortcuts on it. All of the little shortcut buttons. So hopefully this will make it quicker and more efficient to edit videos. This is awesome. Thank you so much. I don't even know who sent this yet, but yeah, this is going to be so great. I'm going to put this on my computer. Like some of these I know, like B is the blade tool, M is the marker, but like most of the most of these I don't even know. So this is going to be great. Thank you so much. What do we have here? We have a fold up duffel bag. This is so cool. It says, let's go get out of town with the WANDF travel gears. Each piece is custom designed to make organizing your clothes and gear easy and will protect your technology to arrive safe and sound. This is so neat. So basically, this is a full-sized duffel bag that folds up into this little pouch. And this is awesome for traveling because what you do is you put this in your suitcase like when you're going somewhere. And then if you're like me where you have situations where you tend to just accumulate stuff while you're away and then end up you know, not being able to fit it all in your suitcase or having to mail some of it back or um, potentially even being charged overage fees um, at the airport because your suitcase weighs more than 50 pounds. So basically, by having something like this, what you then can do is put a bunch of stuff in here and because it like totally zips up and everything, you could actually um, either uh, check this bag um, so um, it would be like another checked bag or 
you could actually use this as another carry-on bag which is probably kind of like what I would do mostly because I have been in situations where I've been traveling and I've had to go to the post office and mail stuff back or um, just like try to rearrange all my bags to uh, carry more stuff on with me uh, because my suitcase was over the limit. Um, so something like this is perfect. Then I never have to worry uh, about, you know, not being able to get everything home. Especially when I'm going to like a conference or um, something like that where you can either buy stuff or you get free stuff. So uh, thank you so much. This is so cool. And this says, hi, Lucky, enjoy your gift from Janet Stemper. Thank you so much, Janet Stemper. You are so awesome. And here we have Space Saver bags. It says the original space saving solution. Reduce the volume by 80%. And then they show like a before and an after. It says it's airtight and watertight and it works with any vacuum. And this is six vacuum storage bags in a variety of sizes. This is too small, too medium, too large. Uh, it keeps out mildew, water, dirt, dust, insects, and odors. These are so great. So somehow I ended up with two of these via mail days. Someone sent me, I don't remember what item it was, but some of the items that were sent to me actually arrived in Space Saver bags and I kept the bags, it was two bags. And I used them um, for the three trips that I took over the past few months and they were like so, great because they work so well to really um, condense your clothing or condense any like soft items that you have. And I did not even use them with a vacuum. I just kind of rolled them. So I put everything in the space saver bags. I opened the vent and then I rolled the bags up and I was able to really, really flatten out like a lot of clothes into a much smaller space. I think my clothes ended up taking half the space that they would normally take, which was great. Um, so that was really, really helpful when traveling. The problem is, is that one of them then broke because we know how rough uh, baggage handlers can be um, when you travel. And when I opened uh, my luggage, yeah, one of the zipper seals, there's like a zipper seal along the side, um, it had broken and I really couldn't figure out what it was from other than the bag being kind of like tossed around and maybe something else kind of like uh, cutting it or something. So um, yeah, so this is so, so great because these will definitely, definitely be put to good use. And um, since there's six of these, I don't know if I would actually use six in a suitcase. What I might do with the extras is use them for storage here in the house. Thank you so much, Janet. That was so nice of you to send these items. I just came downstairs to give the cats their dinner and look at what they did to their breakfast platter. They practically licked that thing clean.
the reading on their Christmas in July platter. For dinner, they each had two nuggets. Boo had two of the Primal Raw Rabbit Nuggets, and the cats had one Primal Raw Rabbit Nugget and one Nature's Variety uh, Raw Chicken Medallion each. So it was a total of eight nuggets on the platter. And from what we know about when the cats eat separately together is that Boo's always the slowest one to eat, and um, the other one's got a little bit of a head start on Boo, so this time I don't mind if he finishes everything on that platter. Because then that would basically be his serving size. And as usual, Stella's sitting there watching him. I replaced their 4th of July placemat with kind of like a uh, barbecue placemat. Of course, I always forget to put their platter on it, but maybe next time. I just feel like, I feel like with all four cats eating, I don't want to put the plate here because right now there's not enough room for all four of them to get around there. As it is, I'm trying to get Boo to get used to eating on the platter with all of them. They did a really good job today with, with that. All right, I am here with all the cats. They need to get themselves situated. Stella, if you're gonna sit there, there's your plate. There's Simba and his plate, Stella and her plate, Splash and his plate. Notice they're all sitting very nicely. They're all sitting, they're all sitting, except for Boo. Oh, Boo just sat down. Good boy, Boo. Now we're ready to have some treats. We're gonna start with some Blue Wilderness chicken and turkey recipe treats. They're gonna have a few of these, then they're gonna have a spoonful of crunchies. And when I say crunchies, it means dry cat food, right guys? You ready? Boo eats his so fast, I don't even think he tastes them. Stella is very dainty when she eats hers. Simba gobbles his up. Splash, eat your treats. Splash is like, he doesn't even know what's going on. Splash, eat your treats. Simba's coming in for the steal. Simba wants to steal Splash's treats and Splash doesn't care. I don't know what's going on with Splash, but today he doesn't want any treats or crunchies. Okay. They're all eating their crunchies. There's been a little rearranging of locations. So Boo's here, Stella's here, they haven't moved. Simba has moved over here and Splash has moved here. I guess he decided he didn't want to eat next to Boo. But this is where Splash ate yesterday, I believe, or the day before. The last time I was down here giving the cats treats, that's where he ate. And that's where Stella ate, and that's where Boo ate. I feel like they have their spots where they like to eat. And this is it. This is all they're getting. So they get their breakfast, they get their dinner, and then at night they get a few treats, and then they get their crunchies. And that's been working out good so far. So what it does is it cuts out the uh, midday or afternoon crunchies. And they do get a little bit of crunchies sprinkled on their breakfast just to entice Boo to eat. But that only might be like a teaspoon of crunchies each. Like it's not much at all. Okay, so check this out. This time, Simba was the first one to finish. Hopefully he'll keep them down, 
for some reason he vomited yesterday. I think it was from those catnip dried fish things. Okay, guys. All right. Good job, everybody. Splash usually takes the longest to eat his crunchies. And I now have to sit here until he's done because if I get up and move, it spooks him. Thank you for watching this Lucky Earl's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos. And please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.